so first we are going to talk about the first local people first group the local people in the sense mostly the tribals the people those who are living in the forest or close to the forest so in this case we can find that judicious use of forest resources these people do not cut the trees indiscriminately they do not want large amounts of wood for construction of houses they make small huts that are made with thatch that is bamboo they make very small tools for fishing with wood and bamboo fishing and they gather the fruits fruits and nuts and they collect the firewood firewood so firewood they do not cut any trees for firewood they collect all the sticks the dried sticks of the dried branches they collect so these kind of things are collected fruits and nuts are collected and they make simple huts with bamboo and even though they ca carry out certain kind of agriculture that is called as jhum cultivation they shift the agricultural land from one place to another place they do not cut so many trees and even they again they plant the trees and they see that the diversity of the plants is restored is retained that means they do not grow only one kind of trees for commercial benefits so they do not disturb the diversity there that is the main thing and uh, firewood fishing they collect honey that is a product of the forest fruits and nuts and they collect the bamboo so in this way they collect various products from the forest this is not over exploitation at the same time they contribute for the proper growth of the trees or other plants other kind of plants and they know the value of each and every plant what are its medicinal uses and other purposes they have a good knowledge of the diversity or they have good knowledge about the various products of the forest so even though these local people are living in contact with this forest the forests were not disturbed the forest land was not disturbed the resource was not misused because they were using a judicious use of the forest resources so they are not expecting more just they are expecting or taking the things which are just enough for their living they don't want to make millions and millions of dollars and they don't want to keep any bank accounts and they don't want to uh, they don't have a commercial view of the forest forest but later what happened the britishers entered into the scenario so after the britishers entered they took most of the land forest area under their control and these local people were restricted to small areas so the small area of forest is allowed to the local people and the local people are not allowed into the other area which is reserved reserved so not allowed and these local people are allowed only to this area over exploitation and the britishers they have they got the commercial view of the forest they have so many requirements to keep the railway lines in india so they need lot of trees so which type of tree is required so plant the tree cut the tree that led to monoculture monoculture what is this monoculture growing a same kind of plant or a tree in particular land so if it is monoculture if you find only one kind of tree you you can't call it as a forest you have to call it as a plantation how can you say it is a forest plantation similar kind of trees everywhere there is no diversity you cannot find different kind of plants different kind of animals different kind of organisms there so that led to that monoculture growing similar kind of trees same trees the trees that have good commercial value are grown there so what happened here it led to that over exploitation of the forest land and it leads to the loss of diversity so loss of diversity leads to loss of ecological stability that point we have learnt here so again the independent india after freedom 
So here let us see what kind of problems are caused by this monoculture growing only certain trees like eucalyptus eucalyptus or pine or sababul or sal if they are growing only this particular kind of trees then what happens it leads to loss of diversity loss of diversity so when it was in the control of local people different kinds of trees different kinds of plants are available local people are aware of the medicinal value of different plants so once the it goes into that monoculture there the different variety of herbal plants are disappeared so we are missing a lot of plants with wonderful medicinal properties and the knowledge about the plants is also disappeared because of this monoculture so loss of diversity loss of knowledge about the medicinal plants so we are separating the people we are separating the people from the forest so what happens the people get separated actually their life was in contact intimacy with the forest they know everything about the forest so it was in a proper sustainable manner but later when the people are isolated from the forest and the forest is completely under the control of british or completely under the control of government so what happens it leads to different methods like monoculture growing similar kind of trees it leads to loss of diversity so again the industrialist the industries they grow only the trees that have high commercial value they are not bother about the land so they grow certain trees they cut certain trees at a particular place again they go to the far away place for that product so they are not bothered about the growth of the new new plants in that place so they are not bothered what kind of effects are caused by this deforestation so in such a way it leads to the problems like loss of diversity so the government recognized that so when they are doing these kind of activities it leads to loss of diversity the government recognized loss of diversity is there so the government started conservation conservation of forest land so conservation initially the government started protecting yes we have to protect that these animals are becoming extinct these days we are not able to see the lions we are not able to see the tigers we are not able to see the rhinos elephants so earlier they started protecting these big animals but later they identified that it is not only the solution just protecting a tiger just protecting a some animal it doesn't protect the diversity so they have come to a conclusion that the total diversity has to be restored there so they made the reserve forests certain land the forest with a different kind of animals and all it is reserved nobody should enter into that but here the government it is excluding the people from that reserve forest but are these people local people are they not part of the forest if those people are not there what happens to the forest so the people are the part of the forest so when they are interacting with the forest people are also a natural part of the forest when the local people they are interacting with that the forest products can be properly utilized or used at the same time the diversity in the forest is maintained if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus